I'm gonna make this real quick video. Here's a question for you. I have posted a poll on Twitter, so you can probably go check out that poll. It's on Anacogy Official. But do you think Gallivor Van Nog is a perfect ending to the Gallivor franchise? I don't see this question answer a lot. I've only I legit only heard like one person budget ask this answer this question. I believe he said yes. Believe it or not, this question I'm not sure if there's like other people talking about this topic. If God of War Ragnarok was a perfect ending to God of War, the God of War franchise as a whole. I'm not talking about the Norse mythology. I'm just talking about as a whole. To be honest, I actually do think so. Just by the way the game present me, it ended Norse saga perfectly. And to be honest, I really think also and the Green Saga too. To be honest. And the way that God of War Ragnarok ended with just that scene which I'm listening to right now. The soundtrack yeah, I'll show you. Just the way the game ended just signifies like it's the end. Do we like be honest, do we really need the God of War sets? The short answer is no. One, why do we need to travel to a different land? You legit only got like two games in Norse mythology because they couldn't figure out what to do with the Norse mythology. And there's so much but that's just stuff in the game. But I guess they're moving on to Egypt. <laughs> which is probably a nice logical step. I know people are saying Mayan mythology, but it's obviously Egypt. But I don't know what they're gonna do for God of War sets. And to be honest, uh, I'm happy with the founder of man. I'm perfectly fine with God of War right now. I, I probably won't play God of War sets, to be honest. But won't come out for like another five years. To be honest, eh, I'm probably gonna have. Eh, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just. There's a part of me that says I do want to play God of War sets, and there's a part of me that says, "Nah, I think God of War Red Dog ended the franchise perfectly." Just by how the way the game ended. Honestly, and to be fair, yeah, Asgard's in ruins, but the way the game ended, they would have to build a new. Start a new civilization, and literally, I'm assuming by that mill, that's I'm assuming that's the Norse people worshiping Kratos. I don't know what all I haven't checked the law on that, but to be fair, I think God of War probably ended the franchise the best. Yeah, there's a lot of unanswered questions in the game. Like, the, the, the whatever the name of that guy is, you know, talk about the ball guy, guy who helped Odin, whatever the name of that guy is. I can't even, I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm not gonna even pronounce it. If we didn't get that much of the real tier, yes, I know this real tier, I just haven't seen him because I have no idea what it look. And this. Not really that much you can do with God of War sets, and you're just starting from fetch. And what are you gonna do for the next game? Like, you're really gonna have to. You're just starting all over again. Like. Like, let's face it, I'm pretty sure none of these characters are coming back. Maybe Freya, but I don't think any of the other characters. The only. The only two that might come back are Fey and Sentry. So you're basically just starting from scratch. You're legit just starting from scratch. And do you really want to move on to a different. But to be honest, I. I am. Um, I'm probably. I'll probably think about playing God of War sets. 
when it comes out on PS sets, PS fives, lifelines over. Let's face it, it's not coming out on PS5. It'll probably come out on PS sets. And if it does come out on PS5, it'll probably be a PS5 and PS sets exclusive. Apple I won't even have a PS5 by then. <laughs> I'll try to get this Christmas for this other Friday. I'll try to get one later this year. Just later this year. After like three years of waiting. I'll try to get one for that time. Anyway. I'm just saying, I honestly don't think we need the Cut of War sets. I think I'm perfectly fine the way Cut of War ended. And to be honest, I think Cut of War had not ended. I mean, the franchise perfectly. Like, let's say if they didn't announce any God of War games after God of War Vietnam, let's say if they didn't announce any God of War games, well, God of War sets, it's the only game that's announced. And it's supposed to be a spin off game, but I don't think they could do that. Let's face it, if they didn't announce God of War sets, would, I, would people be satisfied? To be honest, yes. I don't think we. I don't think the franchise needs to continue. The only reason why they're making a God of War sits is as I said, just to milk the God of War, just to milk that Kratos money. Let's face it. Let's face it. They're just gonna milk that Kratos money, and they're gonna milk that franchise dead. I just. As much as I love Kratos, I just wish they can lay the franchise and just put it to rest. Hopefully, the Nets got a war games, the Nets franchise of games. It's just probably the last arc in the God of War franchise. Like, uh, whatever. But to be honest, God of War and Arc in the franchise perfectly. I don't think we needed another God of War game. I think God of War sets is just happening because that's what the fans want, and that's what the creators want. Not well, most fans. I don't think we need God of War sets to be honest. And I don't know about God of War sets. Are they? What are you gonna do for the game? Like, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, this is Anagoji Thanoff. And remember, they big God of War fans.